Hello everyone and welcome back to more Mystic Messenger. Yes, we are back for more Jehi Route because in the last episode we just got started, got started on her route. We were we made it halfway through her day five, initial day five common route, like right at the start of common route. Well after after common route was done, whatever, this is day five. Yes, her day five. So we were at we stopped at 54% of the conversation only because, you know, everything was syncing up and I had to wait on the conversations by the hour. So we only got really um, a bit of conversation, maybe about a good 10 or so, maybe perhaps a little bit less than that. But yes, we came in to talk to a lot of the characters, got to know sort of what they're, what's going on with their lives, like in terms of, I guess, Yu Sung is more, has suddenly become way more passionate with his gaming stuff so he's like joining tournaments and such and so on sort of a worryingly neglecting his studies but like everybody keeps telling him that but he's just like no I, I want to do this kind of thing then it's just talking about you know freelancing and his works and such and so on and also complaining how much of a jerk Truman is nothing new and of course from Jay's point of view or from Jay's end She's, again, man- Oh, nope, don't do that. So in terms of Jaehee, she's just talking about managing, again, Jumin's, like, schedules and stuff. And there's this one incident in which Jumin came in, he was super annoyed because he was like, Why isn't my cherry farm plane ticket booked yet? Like, I'm supposed to be leaving, you know, sometime today, but I don't have my plane ready or my ticket ready. And Jaehee was just like, oh, like, I didn't know you were gonna be leaving today or something like that. And she was like, eventually she totally forgot, she admitted that she totally forgot about booking his, uh, his plane ticket or something like that, or scheduling that trip, or that she, and then she said she left it to another department to do, to handle it because she had a lot on her plate, but apparently the, the other department didn't manage to do that. And of course, Jumin wasn't happy about it either because he was like, I said you need to do it, not like any other departments, and why didn't you run it by me first kind of thing? Why didn't you tell me? So he was super, super mad. He was a little annoyed, and Jay, he was just like, sorry, we had this whole, like, meerkat competition thing going on meerkat contest and you know we, we were running around doing that and i didn't realize that this is a priority of yours and he was just like i can't you know i'm disappointed in you jehi that you uh, you know you slipped up on this and she was like i'm sorry i was I handled this and he's like okay good and then he was like i'm gonna drop my cat off at your place because i don't trust my bodyguards at home at my place to look after my cat she's just like why? Because, <laughs> like, you know, they're there for a reason. They're supposed to look after people and shit like that, and including your cat. And he's just like, no, I don't I don't trust them. I'm going to take my cat to your place. And she's like, fine. Oh, my God. Okay. And then, you know. And then, of course, that sparked the conversation of how, you know, Jaehee is known to overwork herself. And she had, at one point, she nearly passed out from all the work that she had because she was super busy and stuff and so on. And everyone felt really bad for her and how much of a jerk Jumin is, of course. So, yeah, that's basically it. And that's where we last left off. And that's when, you know, Zen is, of course, talking about freelancing work and how it's the best because he doesn't really have to answer to anybody and work under Jumin. Who's a complete jerk? So that's basically it. Yeah. So yeah, Juman dropped off her, uh, the cat at uh, Jay's work. Um, not Jay's workplace. Jay's apartment. And then she was like super stressed about that as well too because she doesn't like you know all the cat for getting all over the place. So that's it. That's where we basically last left off on her conversation. I'm gonna answer my text messages, of course. I'm going to hold off on emails. Oh, other than you know the couple of the couple of them that are particularly new. Yes, as you can see, I completed most of the old ones by myself. There are some that are old, but I didn't manage to get last time, so I figured, oh, maybe I should like leave it as well for you guys to see. It's particularly this one, this like, star astrology person. The first time around, they asked, you know, what was it like that comes to mind when we look up at the stars at night, kind of thing. And we were supposed to answer romantically and stuff like that instead of like scientifically, like calculating the the lifespan of the stars. She's like, oh, I was looking for something more romantic. So there's this time, I remember this time, so I answered something really romantic, like my first love. So yeah, this time around I got a proper reply, I got another reply back in order to, you know, get, uh, get this uh, guest and uh, she replies then dear honey I then I am sure the night sky always shines with beautiful memories for you then what do you think about the round and charming moon by their side oh uh -huh. uh, yes I calculate the harvest calendar I want to eat it 
I want to eat it. I don't know. <laughs> She's like, I tried to answer scientifically the first time around when she asked me about the stars and the moon and shit like that, and and you know that's wrong. So um, I want to eat it. It's like cheese, right? When I look at the full moon, I get hungry. The round shape reminds me of a bagel or pizza or cheese. I get really hungry. Yes! Oh my god, she like she may be like the the meteor club or the whatever the hell. Like the yeah, the president of the meteor study meteor study club. But she's not really having she's not really taking a scientific approach to like space and shit like that. Anyway, so yeah, that's her. I remember not being able to get her. I accidentally screwed up on this guy, but we all know it's the drummer dude. So then this guy is new, he's the cream roll dude that uh, you some suggested, which is the whole tournament thing. So he replied back with the whole, like, when we suggested the Imagine Mythical Creatures band to perform for them in their tournament. So, dear Hanny, oh, you listen to Imagine Mythical Creatures. I didn't think you would. Haha. Uh -huh. That's a good choice. Of course, we still have a lot of issues to solve, so I don't, so don't assume I can go yet. Uh, we're thinking of giving out limited edition merch goods to people who come to the tournament. If you suggest a good, a good one again, I might just take it. Okay. Uh, 110 centimeter tall doll, limited edition title change ticket. A tall doll? A limited edition title change ticket? What the fuck is a title change ticket? What the hell? I was gonna say it's a 110 centimeter tall doll, but what's a tall doll? Let's just say the tickets. I'm probably gonna screw this one up. Him, I think merch goods will be hard to satisfy everyone, so I might not use it at all. So I give you tickets that lets yeah, users change their titles to the one who viewed cream roll within the game. They can just put it inside their pockets during the tournament and show it off when the gate. Oh, uh, I think it's the tall dolls. <laughs> I think we will make others want to go no more next year. Oh no, it's right. Okay, cool. All right, okay. So tickets, the tickets. Okay, good. <laughs> like, I have no idea. Like, I'm pretty sure it's in reference to some of the LOL tournaments that, like, happen as well. IRL, but, like, I have no idea what goes on there. I've, I've only been to one, and it's really small. It's not like those huge ass venues where, yes, there's, like, bands playing and shit like that. I've seen those only on streams. Anyways, whatever. So, other than that, I'm gonna answer text messages. So we have some from Zen. So honey, I don't worry about me. Take care of yourself. He is so cute. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Zenny, I'm so scared. I'm more worried about you. Oh wait, no. Damn. What the hell? Okay. So I'm more worried about you. I shouldn't I shouldn't reply to text messages again because the conversation the text messages refer back to some of the conversation that we had and of course the, some of them are spoilery. So okay, this wasn't what I thought it was. So okay, so I'm more worried about you. Okay, I, I'll, I will I, I will postpone on this text uh, text messages then. But anyways, regardless, I keep forgetting. Ugh, every single time I start, I lo like I load up this game, I always forget that one of you- Oh, don't worry, my leg oh, will be fine soon. Oh no, he's talking about his leg. We already know what happened to his leg. He like sprained it really badly. Okay, anyways. So I keep forgetting that you guys had mentioned to me how like, you press on some of the guests. I forgot if it's for all of them or just one of them. But if you like, you know, um, click on one of the guests that you managed to successfully get, you get a personal information, you get RFA comments, and that's when we're able to as, as well collect some hourglasses from that. So yeah, so uh, at Rui, for example, at Rui, who's the photographer guy, he's from South uh, from South Africa, Visa's friend. Okay, wow, okay. So personal info, he fell in love with a shirtless photo of Zen and began considering him his muse. Rumor says he owns Zen, uh, Zen's fan page. Oh, wow, you got yourself a fanboy. Hmm, well... I wouldn't blame him. Anyways, there's that, and then of course we got RFA comment. We click that. Oh. 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 Ah, okay, so there's his comment on, of course, Zen's comment on Rui because Rui's a fanboy. But anyways, that's really super cute. Okay, there's that. And uh, yeah, I guess, I think? No? Okay, so his. I usually get an hourglass, right? Okay, let's try another one because I did. Uh, spoiler, I did click on Rui just to check up on if it's actually possible or if they didn't change anything of the sorts of from this game the last time around when I was playing it. But anyways, whatever. So let's try the romance writer. So our average, an average looking romance novel writer. So personal info. Rumor says she unties her hair and transforms it to something else when her imagination explodes. Okay, so who's gonna comment on her then? 
로맨스 소설협회 소속 작가의 남자 주인공은 거의 다 외모 묘사가 젠실을 말하는 것 같습니다. 차기작들에 대해 들어보고 싶었는데 초대해 주셔서 감사합니다. Of course, yes. Jaehee would obviously read anything about Zen. Anyways, here we got. There's our hourglass. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, does it happen for every character though? Oh my god, I would get so many hourglasses! Oh god, okay. Anyways, no, we're not here for that. I'll probably do it at the end of the episode. And just to like, you know, show you guys what, what we got. But we're here. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. It's had something in it, stuck in it. Anyways, we're here for Jaehee's rest of the conversation in her day 5 that we, we didn't manage to get because they were just coming in by the hour. So anyways, let's continue on. To this conversation, Zen's respect towards Jaehee, of course. Everybody respects her. She works so hard, and you know, she's just so, you know, diligent. Honey, you're here. Yes, I am. Uh, Zen probably doesn't have feelings for you. Why would you say that? Jaehee, you must be really busy. Yes, you must be really busy. Uh, yes, of course. Of course. I'm glad that you're here. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, I felt... A bit depressed and wanted to talk to someone. Elizabeth ke keeps crying. Aw, what's happened? Is, is, she, is she hungry? It's still difficult, but Zen's words are quite comforting. Aw, you two seem to belong in a completely different world. I don't know how he could comfort you. God, girl, you need to stop being such a petty and rude bitch. Stop. Zen says he respects you, Jaehee. Cheer up, right? He respects you. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Thank you, there is no reason to respect me. Um, girl, Emma, I, I am only working hard for what I was employed for. Nonetheless, I, dig I digress, but I respect Zen too. Yes, of course. Um, I have to endure the pressure and anxiety from the company, but I think it is people like Zen who who must face the actual world and fight for a true life. Oh, the reason why I like Zen's musicals is he's so passionate in it because I feel like I'm alive when I watch them. Aww. Same. <laughs> if I can, if we were able to watch Zen's musical, I'm sure it'll be like that. I feel a sense of determination to not be afraid of failures and continue forward, especially in the musical Hell Note, where he played K two years ago. Oh my God, Hell Note. <laughs> Death Note uh, plays um, K L probably. Oh, that would make sense because he has white hair. <laughs> Wait, no. That doesn't make sense because uh, L has black hair. What am I thinking? God, I, I must be thinking of another character. Uh, he played a character that was absolutely resolute on uncovering the murder, even in suffocating moments when he could be the one to get murdered. Ah. Zen must be pretty amazing. I knew Zen would be the perfect husband for me. Oh my god, stop, girl. He's amazing. Yes. Yes, indeed. You need to stop. <laughs> Zen's, works, uh, Zen's work gives me a lot of courage, especially from that musical. I was very inspired. Uh-huh. Okay. That's good. Since I am only a normal person, afraid of failures. But Zen, he's just is strong, is, is a strong one who faces his failures and fights for them. And fights them. In his musicals and in his real life, uh, in his real life as well. I genuinely respect that part of him. Yes. Of course. Jaehee, you're too strong to endure all that stress and anxiety. There's a reason why Zen's so popular. Yes. You're strong too, Unni? Uh, I'm grateful that you think so. Thank you, Hanny. Aw, no problem. Yeah, I think you have been comforting me often these days. I also wish I could be of help to you. Well, I'm sure you will. Probably when a bomb comes in or something like that. I should do my best to make sure the party is a success. Oh, the cat's crying again. I must leave. We didn't talk for long, but... Thank you for listening. No, no problem. Oh my gosh. Jaehee, cheer up. Zen and I are cheering for you. Okay, goodbye. Yes, cheer up. We're both... We're, we're rooting for you. Thank you. Yes, we're both rooting for you. Okay. So there's that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, you sounds concerned. Is the next conversation. What is he concerned about? <laughs> Last time we talked about not having being jobless in this economy. Yogu <laughs> Chogugia, uh, what's happening? Yes, Lolo. Hey, are you sound Lolo? <laughs> is it? Am I? No, I'm about to sign in. Lol. Whoa. Well, what? Did I read your mind? It was pretty clear that Jaehee's a fan of Zen's musicals, but I've never seen her say she respects Zen so directly until now. Oh. It's nice to see them show respect for each other. Was school okay? Yeah, it's nice to see them show respect for each other. Yeah. 
It's really great. Uh, concerning respect, I have something to say too. Haha, <laughs> what? To be honest, I respect both of them. Of course, the way I see it, Jay is the nerdy type. And Zen's like one fierce jaguar. <laughs> so they're completely different types, of course. Uh, but there's something to learn from Jaehee's sincerity and precision. And something to learn from Zen's passion and endurance. Haha. -ha. Yes, really, just look at them. Yes. Uh, just really just chill. looking at them makes me worry about what my future would look like. Uh, <laughs> there's something that Rika told me before. Whatever you do, the happiest person in the str is the strongest and the most successful. He told me not to hesitate in pursuing happiness. Oh yeah. True. Okay, so I don't really think Jay's happy. Zen seems happy doing his work. Just my type of guy. I don't think I don't really think Jay's happy. Uh, at the moment, no, not really. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, because she's super stressed, and yeah, she doesn't seem happy when she's busy with work, since she does whatever Jumin tells her to do. Yes, not any not anyone else, but the perfectionist Jumin. Lol. I think anyone would have a hard time. I think I am pursuing happiness, but looking at the life I'm living right now, I suddenly feel so empty. God, don't don't get real with me right now, girls. Jesus, why do you think I feel that way? Well, you sort of just whatever. Well. Because you don't know what makes you happy, not because you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> because you don't know what makes you happy. Yeah, I think so. You're just lost. I used to have a dream, but now I don't really know. Aw. Uh, I guess it's because I don't have a goal. It's okay. Anyways, I know Lolo will get rid of this emptiness. Talk to you later. <laughs> Talk about a coping mechanism. Okay, okay, bye. Don't become too much of an uh, game addict. Yes, don't, don't. You know, it's okay. Lolo, Lolo today and then cry tomorrow. Lolo tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Lolo gives me a purpose in life. I'm gonna go exterminate the trolls. Well, again, like, Yusung, if, if Lolo is such your passion, then why not pursue a career in esport, you know? Like, you can. It's a possibility. Life that pursues happiness is the next conversation that we have with Seven and Jaehee. Oh gosh. Okay, hit it to give it to me. I agree with you, sir. People should pursue happiness, of course. Hey, S7, Jaehee, do you still have a lot of work? We need to be concerned after Jaehee. Hello, honey. Hello. How are you? Oh, I do have a lot of work, but it's manageable. Okay, that's good. Uh, I would have felt much better if it weren't for the cat. Oh, I feel like I can almost touch Jaehee's frustration. Uh, currently, I am all. Oh no. Just give it to him, lol. If anything happens to the cat, Jaehee will be responsible, so I oppose. Yes, indeed. Whatever the conversation. Yes, he says, give me the cat. Currently, I am not happy because of the cat. Yes, and there she is. Aww, but she, she looks so cute. Uh, give me the cat. Yes, no. No, Seven. Uh, I agree. We cannot have Jaehee be, be in trouble with Jumin any more than she is. What? I'm not gonna kill her. Oh. Kill her? No one said anything about killing. Oops, it slipped out. I can never trust you, Seven. Uh, the day I give the cat to Seven will be the last day I go to work. Oh, then you'll become totally free! Free from the cat, free from the company! Yeah. Two birds with one stone! Oh my gosh. But chained to money, freedom is expensive. Freedom is expensive. Wow, oh my god, that sounds so cool! <laughs> freedom is expensive. Oh, I should've said but chained to money, but that's true. I'll become homeless after buying freedom then. Yeah, yeah true. Uh, it would be nice if it's easy as Seven says, but I live in a capitalistic world. Are we all slaves of money? Yes, the negative sides of capitalism. A visual novel gives you at least two <sighs> options, but being a slave to money only gives you one option. Haha, <laughs> stop breaking the fourth wall, Jesus. You're making me depressed. This game isn't a visual novel, but it gives you more than two options. It does! It actually is true, but we can't, we can't go along with him. We gotta say you're making me depressed. Yes, it's for Jaehee's sake. Stop. You said something similar before. Um, please don't remind us again about how sad reality is. Yes, I do not think the world is that dismal. Uh, but days like this are quite difficult. Yes. But yeah, Jimin was too harsh in the morning. He was. Yes, he was. Uh, it makes sense that you forgot about the cherry farm because of the meerkat contest. What depressed me the most was that he did not even recognize how hard I worked. Uh, and only uh, pointed out my mistakes. Oh uh, yeah. I was getting a bit depressed and switched for the Assistant Human Rights Committee. I was surprised to find that one actually exists. Oh yes, we had had them. We got them before. Ask Hanny to invite- Ask Hanny and invite them. Yes, we should. So I feel like I, that'd be leading too much towards one profession, so I don't feel comfortable about it. No, I'd like to invite them for you, Jaehee. Tell them to contact me. Yes. 
tell them to contact me. Yes, I'll make sure they reach you right away. Thank you. We are slaves of money, but grades don't depend on happiness. You mean happiness doesn't depend on grades? Yeah. Oh, that wasn't it. You can't buy money. You can't buy money with happiness. You mean you can't buy money with happiness? What? I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confusion, but it's true. But anyways, regardless, I was gonna say like the last time we made choices in regards to like guests and stuff. Like for before, I think I read somewhere where it's like it shouldn't affect. Like, the, the type of guest that you would choose to invite shouldn't affect the person that you're trying to to romance or like are currently in route with. But like the last time I did, I invited Long Long uh, the Long Cat, Long Long Cat, <laughs> the Long Cat, uh, <laughs> and it gave me a heartbreak because it must be in relation to hope that Jaehee really doesn't like cats all that much, but we chose to invite the Long Cat anyways when Seven suggested it. So I was like, what? What do you mean? So, ah. Anyways, yeah. So seven, get your words right. Lama is so funny. Lamao. No, seven, get your words right. Yes, please. It's confusing me. La la. Anyways, it's true that you can't buy either of those things. I wish I could trade happiness with money. When I get a new car, I get happy. So I want to trade that happiness for money and buy a new car with that money, <laughs> and trade that happiness and trade the happiness I get from that car from that for money for money and buy a new car. It's like an endless cycle of buying money and car and happiness. But, oh, what a life that would be. Stop buying cars, you seem, you seem rich. The number of cars you own will increase exponentially. Yes, the number of cars you, own, you will own will increase exponentially. It's true though, increase by the multiplier of 2. Oh, please stop. Stop purchasing cars. Oh, I should have said the other one. But it's true. Don't you save money at all? No, he doesn't. Doesn't seem like it. I don't think he does. Yeah, I don't think he does. <laughs> so you really don't. Yes, not by that answer. Anyways, people should pursue happiness. Are you changing the subject? That's like, you know, what we learned. What are we learning? Jaehee, you stress, you get stressed from working at Jumin's company, but you relieve your stress when you watch a video of recordings of Zen's performances and become happy, Coco, right? Sadness always accompanies happiness. That's how you achieve balance in life. You talked about being slaves of money, and now you're giving me advice on my life. Yep, though we may be slaves of money, we have the right to be happy. Yes. I guess. That's one way to look at it. Uh, I'm glad at least Zen's musical cheers you up, Jaehee. I feel like I'm about to have a heart attack every time I see his musicals. Want to have him as my husband? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true though, but like, yes. I'm glad at least you have some sort of like, you know, something that cheers you up at the end of the day. Yes, it is true I feel happy when I watch his musicals. Yeah, I think everyone knows that, but don't. But doesn't true I'll happiness come you. from being in love rather than enjoying your hobbies? Oh, what the hell? Don't give up on love! Please do not suddenly change subjects when talking. What do you really want? What do you really want to say? For you to find a boyfriend, I guess? I think he means he wants you to find someone you love and become happy, I guess. My guess is that he wants to say Zen sexy. <laughs> it's true though. I think this this one, but like I think it's uh, I feel like it's this answer, but like I really want to say this answer because obviously Jay he will agree with me. Just saying. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's what he wants to say. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, I'm impressed you managed to understand his point. Knew you would, Hanny. <laughs> Jaehee, you truly, you shall find true happiness from love, is what I wanted to say. Your song's already fallen with the lol with the lol tournament, and I'm already married to the world of binary numbers. And Jumin's gay. <laughs> Mr. Han is not gay. He's just reserved. Okay. I have never seen his girlfriend, and but he is not. But he is definitely not gay. I mean. You know, is Jumin Han is the gay? I don't know. Then he is the statue. A man you can never get. So cool. Then he is the statue. Is he? <laughs> la 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 la. Oh my god, Jay laughed. Yeah, Jay just lolled. <laughs> I was very stressed out because of work, but you made me laugh. Thank you. <laughs> now it's confirmed that Jumin is made of stone and wood. You're wrong. Anyways, like this, you'll end up finding someone through marriage, meeting, and marrying without love. Your chances of casual dating are becoming slimmer by the minute. Hey now, I'm already fully aware of that as I'm I'm getting older as we speak. Thank you so much for the advice. Sigh. Uh, 707, all you do is use your computer at home so you will not understand how I feel. There are things I must give up or take on or take on because I'm a career woman. Yes. And no, and ain't got got no time for love and dating and all that other stuff. 
I think Jaehee's thought about. I think Jaehee's thought enough about whether or not she's on the right path. Just go to the marriage meeting and get it over with. Yeah, just leave Jaehee alone. I think she's already aware of what of all this. Yes, you know exactly. Yeah. So, uh, but during busy days like this, I don't even have time to think. Yeah. Cheer up. Cheer up for what? <laughs> I managed to do something good today, too. I'm gonna go for a drive. I'm gonna go on a date with my car. You do have insurance, I assume? Uh, my car for my... Uh, my love for my car is the best insurance. Oh my gosh. That will not save you. Jai save seven, lol. Uh, I don't know what advice you gave, but goodbye. Yes. <laughs> yup, okay. I agree with Annie. Uh, anyways, drive safe. Yeah, then bye. Yes. Why do I feel uncomfortable right now? Oh, maybe because he was like pushing, invading your love life. Maybe, maybe because Seven talked about dating. Why do you feel that way? Maybe because Seven talked about dating. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I think so too. I am very. I am not in very interested in dating. I gave up at one point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if there's something I really want to do, uh, rather than dating. And then it's sweat. Tell me, it would be getting a friend whom I can talk to. Oh, I'm here for you, girl. Me. I think I could be that friend, right? I think I could be your friend. Let's be friends. Oh, yes. To be honest, I thought that as well. Uh, if I get to meet you, uh, then yeah, we can be best friends. I'd love to become good friends with you. I should get going now. Okay, I had fun talking to you. Oh, me too. I hope you get a lot of work done. Cheer up, Jaehee. Cheer up, Jaehee. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, then goodbye. Okay, bye. Oh, it's okay, Jehi. You're not missing out on the dating world. It's all right. All you only need Zen. That's it. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> that's enough. Anyways, yes. Yeah, so we do have that whole uh, male association human rights committee for the assistance shit. Yeah, we already we got them before. Anyways, Jehi in love. Yes, let's discuss. In detail about her love life. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Nope. The conversation we had today, I realized that blah 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 blah. Yes, that I could probably answer. So another round of lol has ended. Okay. You son, how was your game? Zen, you're still up? You're still up, Zen? Of course, I'm gonna t take every chance to talk to Zen. Yep, I always sleep late. Anyways, honey, you're still up too? Well, technically, it's not. <laughs> The time difference, but it's okay. I can't sleep either, Zen. I can't sleep either, but I want to see you, Zen. I want to see you. <laughs> no, I can't sleep either. Yes, it'll be rough. It'll be rough tomorrow if you stay up too late. Oh, gosh, I'm sweating so much after playing that last round. Wow, wow, you totally saved the world, lol, 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 lol. lol. <laughs> I guess uh, you're so. I guess you're still gaming at night. I I thought you stopped after Ze Seven's prank. Oh, uh, Zen, lol, lol is my destiny. Do you not understand? Lol, lol is not a game. It is life. Life. It is like life. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. So the fuss you made about quitting the game is already in the past. Yeah. Lol, 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 lol. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Zen, don't you want to date? Rip Yusung's love life. <laughs> Rip his love life. <laughs> uh -huh, I feel strange. Lol. Ah, uh, don't feel too- Dude, stop gaming and go on dates while you're still young. Oh, didn't I already tell you? What's I gave up that? on dating. <laughs> what? Uh, we've all given up on dating. Yay, join the club. I- But I hope at least Jaehee finds someone. Uh, I'm seven not, yeah. two. Why is everyone suddenly worrying about Jaehee? Uh, well, that's because we're guys, but women usually marry earlier than men, considering Jaehee's rate- Jaehee's age. For how long do you think she can just go on casual dates? You talk as if you're so old. Are you really a student? Although I am addicted to games. Uh-huh. I know how the world I know how the world works. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey now. I don't have the luxury to worry about Jay Zen. Date me! <laughs> Stop! Stop it, Hanny. It doesn't have to be through dating, but I want Jay to be happy, right? Doesn't have to be through dating. Doesn't have to be through love. Like you know what? It's not like you know definitively set. Hmm. I can see that you're that you genuinely care for her. Haha. <laughs> yeah, Jaehee's lucky. So did you catch a lot of trolls? You some annihilated them. Lol. Guy, you why are you changing the subject? Lol. lol. I can waste a couple more years gaming, but I think it's time for Jaehee to find someone. Oh. She'll waste her prime <laughs> time working 24 hours under Jumin. All the members are missing out on dating, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> Jaehee needs to find someone faster than all of us. Oh, come on now. Come on. 
it's not definitively set in stone that once that you know once you find that special someone you're going to be happy and set for life okay it doesn't work that way I think you two are just prejudiced to think her age will restrict her changes for love right yeah before she gets any older she should start dating no don't be prejudiced Oh my god, OMG, yes. Is that what we were doing? Yes. Honey, you're pretty awesome. Yes, so we were all just prejudiced. Yeah, but... But what? The th but the things have been rambled on just before. I agree that she should find happiness but by falling in love rather than by watching DVDs of Zen's performances. Yeah. Hey now, she can't just watch DVDs of you forever. I think it'd be nice for her to go on dates. Hmm, I think a bit differently. Come to think of it now... What? Uh, dating is good, but I think she also needs a friend, right? But I have a, I have a question. What? Uh, I think Jaehee's overrating my musicals and performances. Are my musicals that great? Yeah, Zen, come on. Of course I just, of course, just looking at my face is, ex is a, a great experience. Yes, I know. Hello, but there's a lot of other musicals that are pretty profound. Like what, the musicals that I star in are a bit more on the ent entertaining side. Well, that's because Jaehee's a huge fan of yours. Yeah, Jaehee's my fan. Well, did he not realize this, girl? Nah, lol. <laughs> nah, bruh. <laughs> Do you even have to ask, honestly? Yeah. Like, she has your picture Lord. as her banner for her profile. How could you not know when she makes it so obvious, right? OMG, didn't realize it. Jaehee's such an intelligent person. What an intellectual! Uh, so I thought she'd just watch my musicals to become familiar with different genres. Nope. She's a huge fan. Yeah? She really likes you, Zen. I'm, st I'm so shocked that you didn't know. Exactly. Yeah, I'm shocked too. She also says good things about your performances here. Right? Why don't you read those? Jaehee even respects you, Zen. Probably just a slightly interested girl number one. No. She respects you. Yeah. She does? Yeah. What the hell? She said uh, just before that... She said just before that she respects you. Jaehee loves your musicals. She's just not one of those crazy fans who scream their lungs out, lol. Really? Yeah, lol, lol. Hmm, then she might really be a fan. But what do you think about Jaehee, then? Uh, what? Is she attractive? Oh my god, girl. Can't they just be a platonic friendship? Where are you? What are you? Why are you asking Zen that? Exactly. I think she's extremely attractive. I think, personally, she's extremely attractive. Yeah, I gotta support my bunny. Really? Whoa. Yes. Aren't you just saying that? Because you're close to Jaehee? Lol. Oh, that may be so. Hey now. Hey now. But why are you asking me that, Yusung? Eh, yeah. So to me, I think Jaehee can go on dates with whomever she wants, but I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to know what others think. Okay. Uh, Since Juman treats know. women like stones, it'll be useless asking him. And Seven, well, Seven's only interested in cars. <laughs> he needs to go on TLC. What, my strange addiction. <laughs> yep. Uh, asking Zen is a bit, Zen, don't you think she's an amazing woman? Right? Come on. Don't you think she's an amazing woman? Yeah, haha. -ha. What? Hani is trying to put in a good word for Jaehee. Yes, lol, 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 lol. To answer Yusung's question, say yes. I don't really care for looks, so I don't know, but I think she's beautiful. Aw, yeah, see? Uh, she has a good career, a stable job, and she seems better than me at everything. Yeah, well, no. We are both good at something. I don't even have a stable earning yet, but my semi-popularity makes it easy for me to get narcissistic. Compared to that, Jaehee's much more secure than I am. Lol, lol, you admit that you're narcissistic. Come on, I'm good. I'm so good looking that I got a fan club without doing anything. Oh my god, it's true. If the fan knows that I'm also hosting the party, they will do anything to come. Oh, true. You could have sold out tickets like, like that, you know? Uh, then we should never invite them. What about inviting your fan club to the party? I think we already did that, but whatever. Let's do it. Really? Yes. Really. Let's do it. Um, I don't think Jaehee will really like that. You think? Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I mean, I didn't get a heartbreak yet. <laughs> I th ah, no! <laughs> I don't think it's that bad idea. I spoke too soon. I think I have a card to the fan club manager somewhere. I'll reach her. Uh, what do you think about having someone like Jaehee as your girlfriend? Huh? How, how about it? Uh, you totally threw me off there, lol. Oh my god. Okay, so is this a new thing now? Like, I got a heart with her, but I also got a heartbreak as well, too. What the hell? You totally threw me off there. I never really thought about that. What if... I ju what if? Just what if? Uh, why are you putting him in a corner, lol? You don't even have one. What do you think about me? What about me and my needs? Yeah. You don't even have one. Exactly, lol. <laughs> oh my god, savage. 
Am I being too direct? I just thought... I just thought... Uh, that Jaehee has a better chance of finding someone than I do, lol. Hmm, lol. Uh, if I have to answer that question, then... Jaehee has a stable life, so wouldn't someone like her be a better suit? Uh, yeah. Uh, my environment doesn't doesn't let me provide stability to another person. And as a woman, I never thought of her in that way, so I don't know. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but when I see her practically serve that uh, Jorjumin without saying anything, uh, how should I say it? Oh, my friend is telling me to sign into to Lolol. I do think she's amazing. I can't let him fight all by himself. I have to go. Okay. <laughs> but how did we end up talking about this? Uh, I should go and rehearse. Okay. Bye. I'm gonna practice until I'm too tired and just fall asleep. Okay. Don't work too hard. Okay, goodbye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Uh, try not to stay up too late, Hanny. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Even though it's probably only like, what, 3 in the afternoon? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, is that a new thing? I never realized. Like, before, uh, right when I started uh, started this game, um, yeah, I, d I was- I had that mentality of like, picking and choosing guests that may or may not upset certain people or like, the person that I'm- I'm doing the route for. And yeah, it's just apparently, like, it- it shouldn't have affected, but apparently it does now? What? Is that- maybe I didn't read the notice and the updates and shit like that. Because, like, it wouldn't make sense, like, how guests- certain guests that you choose to invite would, like, you know, affect the person that you're- they're- you're in the route with, you know? So, Jimin is back from the business trip. Okay, finally. Let's see what he has to say. Is everyone trying to come up with a plan to get Assistant Kang a boyfriend? Mmm. It's just a suggestion. Sure. I do not really want to get involved in my assistant's personal life. Yes, of course not. Of course not. Jimin, how was your business trip? Jimin, did you like your did you take your cat? Jehe was having a hard time. Right? She's having a hard time. Take the cat. No. What? <laughs> I just came back from my trip. Oh. Okay. So you just got off the plane, I assume. Hanny, you seem to care a lot about assistant Kang. It was a short trip, but I picked a lot of cherries. Ooh, looks good, I guess. <laughs> of course, I didn't do it myself. I just ordered people to do it. <laughs> of course, you just sat back, sipping on champagne and shit like that. I wanted to wake up. I wanted to wake up Elizabeth III and bring her back from Assistant Kang's place, but it would be too hard on her to change places so uh, so often in one day. So I would get her tomorrow. What? Oh my god, I do feel like. I do feel like I quite I was quite harsh on Assistant Kang this morning. Of course, I have no plans to apologize. I would rather use the energy to work. Oh wow! What a what a jerk! I knew you were practical. Cool. Oh my god. But not apologizing requires a lot of energy too, right? Hmm. Huh. Apologize to her, please. Just say sorry. It's not that hard. Uh, I was right to think that you are fond of Assistant Kang. Of course I am. I'm sticky up for Unni. Do you wish like everyone else for her to see someone? Uh, do you wish like everyone else for her to see someone? Um, I want to date someone more than Jaehee does. I want her to be happy even if it's not through dating, right? It doesn't have to be through dating. I just want her to be happy. Honey, you're, you are quite kind. Thank you. I appreciate that. I feel that she- I feel that what she needs more than a lover is a friend. From my observations, people who only have their lovers to rely on tend to get depressed very easily. Yes, Assistant Kang's love life uh, has nothing to do with me. More than that, not interested. I know, I get it. Uh, how about inviting the cherry farmers to the party? Oh, there is the invite. There we go. So we will we will be able to taste fr free cherries if they come. Yes, of course you would love that. Free cherries sound good. Let's invite them. Free cherries, lala pass. No, let's invite the cherry farmers. I was gonna say. Then I'll tell Assistant Kang. I should go rest. Okay. Uh, don't play the game too late. Don't play the game too late, Hanny. Goodbye. What? <laughs> what? 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 Guys. What the fuck? What are you- Okay, I'm a little creeped out. Okay. 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 That threw me off. That caught me off guard. Not gonna lie. Like, I expected from the 7 a lot, but like, Jumin? That was a curveball. What the hell? Anyways, there we go. So I'm gonna just check them up on profiles. Also answer the cherry farmer because that's new guest. So let's cheer up again. Aw. And what else? Uh, up, uh, uh, up my range dealer. Okay. Oh no, that's so cute. He's like actually his character. He's like in his character costume. 
That's super cute. Was that cosplay? <laughs> and Jimin, change in atmosphere, of course. Cherry farm picking and shit. Anyways, let's try answering, yeah, Jaehee's text here. So the conversation we had today, I realized that I never talked about those things with anyone else. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Text me um, more through text. Tell me more through text, yeah. Really, I hope you get a friend you can text more to. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Text me more. Yes. Tell me all the deets. Tell me all the tea. Spill all the tea to me. Maybe I should hire an assistant too. Don't know what kind of person would work though. How about Jaehee? Hire Yusung. Hire Yusung. <laughs> I think Jaehee is pretty busy with a lot of work. Uh, I'm supposed to meet a friend in Lolo in 30 minutes, but I'm so sleepy. Do you know a good way to wake yourself up? Watch a scary video. Eat something. Something so spicy that it will burn your tongue. Yes, watch a scary video. <laughs> I mean, the spicy thing would work too, but like, I don't know. I think the other is more effective. Can I really? Am I, I am so happy that you said that. The text feature was the one I used the least in the RFA app. I'll text you often from now on. Yeah. Yeah, Jaehee. I got a friend. Oh, I got more replies too. Jesus. Okay, so. I feel like that will just never let me sleep. Huh, <laughs> that's true. But it's effective. Uh, I can save him from this harsh employment market, but Jumin already has dibs on him. <laughs> Indeed, he does. He's like, oh, give you an intern. And it's like, no. Anyways, where is that cherry farmer? Cherry farmer. Um, oh no. Cherry farmer, cherry farmer, cherry farmer. Oh, there's Zen's the Zen fan club. There's the secretary person. Okay, yeah, so what kind of boss... What kind of boss is Chief Assistant Kangs? He's he's very practical. It's just we gotta put good word in for him. I remember that. Oh yes, and it's like, oh, can you answer which musical he starred in when he was 19? I swear to God, I didn't manage to get it though. Taste tea leaf, Jumin's cat. Oh yeah, it was Jumin's cat, right? It was Jumin's cat. Hello, I think Zen had start said he starred in Jumin's cat around then, or maybe not. To be honest, I don't know about Zen very well. I'm not a fan. I met him through work. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna get her interested. She's like, oh my god, you know Zen personally? <laughs> He's like, yeah. Okay, so there's a cherry farmer. He looks like the wine guy, except he doesn't look drunk. So come to the cherry farm for the freshest cherries on earth. Hello, I'm the owner of the cherry farm. I haven't grown cherries for so for long, but I can assure you they are uh, they are sweet and tasty, if not more than others farm as other farmers. You can determine how fresh they are by the color of the stem. Do you know which color means uh, which colors they mean they are fresh? Green. <laughs> I assume. Uh, yes, hello, I'm Hanny, our face party guest coordinator. I really love cherries. I'm so excited to talk to someone who actually grows them. Aren't cherries fresh when the more green their stems are? I always make sure to look at the stems before buying. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, it turns brown over age, right? Yes, okay. La, common sense. Cool. Okay. So we finished up on her day five, like the rest of the other half of it. So let's go on, move on to day six. So you sung in the tuition. Oh no. Are you having problems paying your tuition? Because I say, I understand the feels of forking over money, a large sum of money. I'm worried that Jaehee's still struggling with the cat. Yes, you need to ask after Jaehee. <laughs> Jimin still hasn't picked her up, but, but what? Ah, uh, Jumin has so much money. Why is he talking about free cherries? Lol, that's true. <laughs> he should take his cat back if he has time to come into this chat room. Jaehee hates it, lol, yes. But he doesn't want to disturb his precious princess. I think the cat will be safer if he picks her up before Seven wants her more. I know. I know, right? I know, I agree with you. Really? Really, yeah. And Jumin shouldn't be so stuck up and... Uh, apologize if he has something to be sorry for, and stop saying that it's a waste of time or energy, right? Exactly. Nothing we can do since he's the boss. No, you're right. I think even a small gesture would really cheer her up, right? Exactly. You want to just a, a sorry, like my bad. I wish Jubin would be a bit softer. Oh, I talked with a friend while gaming. Okay. And the school's raising our tuition next semester. Oh my god, no. I didn't learn anything, but I still have to pay more m more tuition. I know! Holy shit, well, I don't have to worry about this now. I'm over that. Long, yes, I'm over that. Way over that, but dang. It's giving me flashbacks. I think it's your fault that you don't learn anything, lol. Is it a private school? Don't be so harsh. That's too savage. Okay, is it a private school? 
Uh, yeah, lol, lol. Oh, okay, wow. So that's pretty, pretty, uh, bougie. <laughs> well, prices are going up for everything, so I understand the increase, but why isn't my dad getting a pay raise? Blah, yeah. Of course, I'm on a scholarship, so I don't have to pay anything, lol. <laughs> but, like, still. You must have studied very hard before. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> That's so rude. Just say you must have studied hard before. Yeah, a little bit. I tried hard until uh, high school, lol, but not smell. anymore. Anyways, I got a bit hyper because of the tuition raise and looked around here and there and found the National University Tuition Freeze Committee. Oh, how about inviting them to the party? Yes, let's do that. I, that seems like a, yeah, that's a pretty good, good idea. They seem new. They sound new. Okay, let's invite them. Then I'll get in touch with them. Yes. So I'm happy that I'm being useful, haha. <laughs> well now, I should go play Lolo more. Cause, you know, may the, may the goddess of victory smile upon me, sure. May the odds be ever in your favor. I'm gonna go to bed. Hope you put up a good fight. No, yeah, I've gotta go to bed. Okay. Not you really. That? Good night, honey. Yes, bye. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Now what? So we get another new guest, yes. So let's confirm email. Uh, let's answer that as well, I guess. Yes? Oh, it doesn't take me to the thing. I forgot. Okay. Let's answer them. Where are they? Where, where, where? Secretary, the college. There we go. So you, are you doing a college strike? Hello, we are the group that aims to freeze the tuition of all universities across the nation. We even shaved our heads to show how committed we are to the cause. Wow. It's not because I'm already bald. Nope, never. That is never the case. That is the case. I think many people will know about our cause through the party. We'd like to go out into the streets beforehand and tell the people of our, ca of our cause. What do you think is the best time? Noon, when it's bright, just like your head. <laughs> uh, <laughs> noon? Yes. Hello, I'm Hani, our face pet guest party guest coordinator. Many students will be lessened of their burden if tuitions are frozen, If I so I think it's a good cause. I think noon is a good time since people will be out and about for lunch. Yes. Sounds, you know, reasonable. Oh, Zen updated his profile. Oh, my leg. Oh, this is the way he broke his leg. I mean, not broke his leg, but like sprained his leg because he overworked himself. Jehee's Jehee, I don't know. Zen's injury, there we go. Here we are. We know what happened here. He's gonna say I over, I pushed myself. Zen, uh, haven't seen Jehee for a while. Yes, I'm worried. Yeah. Oh, uh, but first, what? I just, I was just about to call 911 because you hurt your ankle. What, what happened? You're about to get a heart attack after seeing me? <laughs> oh, smooth. Smooth, but not the time, not the time, girl. Something serious is happening. What, what happened? That was smooth, though. <laughs> My ankle's a bit weird. I want to use that at some point. <laughs> it hasn't been listening to me, huh? Haha. Uh, I don't think it's just a sprain. I think there's a problem with my bones. Oh no. It's because you practice so hard. So then stop chatting and call for an ambulance right now. It's because you practice so hard. Oh no! Sorry! I know! Oh shit. It's this, this happened because I was getting too ahead of myself. Uh, I should have been more worried. I thought that I should. Uh, I thought I should first let everyone know before the ambulance comes. I'll get it checked and come back in the afternoon. Damn, it hurts so bad. Oh, uh, Jehi's going to worry so much. Be careful. I'll tell the other members. Don't worry. Do you need anything else? Should I go? Jehi's going to worry so much. Be careful. Yeah. Jehi, of course, Jehi. Anyways, I will. Yes. Oh, maybe I should have told everybody else. I don't know. I shouldn't have practiced so hard. Ah. Uh, yeah, you should have, but what's done is done. Anyways, don't worry even if you don't hear anything from me, alright? Oh my gosh. Don't worry about us and take care of yourself. You have to get better soon. Don't worry about us and take care of yourself, right? Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, I'm here. I'm glad at least you're here. Thanks, then I'll get going. Okay, wow, that was a really like hard decision no, for a split second. Where it's like, I could have done the whole, like, don't worry, I'll tell everybody and let everybody know. And then there's also the specified, where it's like, Jehi will be worried, kind of thing. Well, I said, I went with Jehi will be worried, because that's true. She's gonna be like, I'm so worried. That's what happened last time, right? Oh my gosh. Anyways, here, we're gonna jump into the conversation. Jehi worries for about Zen. See, I told you, he has an injury. Yes, what? I was right, at least. Jehi, did you read Zen? Uh, did you read that Zen got hurt? What do we do now that our handsome Zen's hurt? What do we do? Jehee, did you read that Zen got hurt? Yeah. Uh, he got hurt before and now again. My god. A problem with his bones. Yes, that is worrisome. Uh, how hard did 
How hard do you think he worked himself? Uh, Zen's not here to answer. He might be in line at the hospital waiting. I'll have to see which hospital he went to. Uh, Zen will take care of everything himself. If you are that worried, I think it'll be good to contact him. Right? True. I will right away. Uh, wait, Jaehee. Uh, I won't stop you if you're worried. But if he... Be, but if he said he'd be back in the afternoon, besides... Uh, but he said he'd be back in the afternoon, besides. Have you heard that he recovers like a monster? Last time he broke his arms, it got better in one day. Jesus, yeah, we heard about that. Really? Knew my Zen would be so strong. What a strong man. Oh, really? Yes. Wow. Amazing. Even if he feels like, like he's going to get sick, he gets better in a couple of hours. But, and he never had a cold before. I know he is extremely healthy, but you know that I manage all the health records. Lol. Oh wow, okay. It's already his third time breaking bones. Four times he had major sprints and pulled uh, his ligament. But he always get, got better in one or three days. Wow. I know very well that Zen recovers enormously. Enormous, enormously. Well, God, I can't read. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, uh, we, but that does not mean we should relax. It might be serious. It might be a serious injury this time. He gets he gets hurt a lot because of what he does. It must have really it must have really hurt. Oh yeah, uh, Jehi, he'll be all right. Calm down first. It must have hurt. My love, Zen. My love. Yeah, just chill. Uh, sorry for getting too agitated right now. Okay, yeah, don't, it's okay, no problem. But I think I won't feel relieved until I contact the hospital. Hmm, I won't stop you, but he told us not to worry. Uh, and that he'd, be that he'd be back in the afternoon. Do you really have to? Am I making too much of a fuss? Yeah, Zen decides to take care of things himself. You should respect his way. Oh, ah, oh, true, well, uh, yeah. Uh, you should respect lovely Zen's way seconded. But it's natural that Jay he's worried. How about you do what your heart tells you to do? Ah, uh, wow, wow, this is wow. Uh... Uh... How about you do what your heart tells you to do? <laughs> if it will not bother him, yeah, but... <laughs> I don't know. It might just be that Zen doesn't know how to ask for help since he lived alone for so long. He might actually be wishing for someone to visit his lonely hospital room and, pre and pretending and just pretending to be okay on the on the outside. Then I must visit his hospital room right away. Is that what you thought I would say? You are changing your words. What do you want me to do? La 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 la. You caught me. <laughs> oh my god. Seven. No time for playing mind games. Jesus. Don't tease Jaehee. She's sincerely worried for him, right? Exactly. And <laughs> I would have went. Obviously, I wouldn't say that. Yes, please try not to joke about this matter matters like this. Sorry, but Jaehee, aren't you gonna go to work? I will. I only logged in because I was worried. I should go to work now. Okay. All right. Don't worry too much right now and get to work safe. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Come on. Don't worry too much. Thank you. I will try. Okay. Bye bye. I uh, hope you don't worry too much as well, Hanny. Yes. Um. So what I meant is, what? Uh, don't listen to anyone else and follow your heart. But uh, I totally get her. Tis tis. Oh my God. You're so like. Jaehee is Sen's fan, so she must be more worried. I don't really like Jaehee doing what everyone says. Oh yeah. Jaehee is Zen's fan, so she must be more wor. She so she must be more worried. Oh my. That's true though. I don't really like Jaehee doing what everyone says. It's true, yeah, well, yeah, but uh, I totally got her. Oh, tits, tits. oh, true. Oh, yeah, because Zen was pulling that prank where it's like she's he's trying to like see if he can sway her in, in whatever ways. It's true. I mean, uh, yeah. I only meant to tease her. Ugh, I have to leave. Uh, Just got called. Okay, uh, honey, don't worry t about Zen too much and have a good day. Okay, yeah. Wow, this is really confusing. Yeah, because like we can easily support. Uh, Jaehee in terms of like, you know, what she wants and what, you know, what she would think instead of, you know, like, what's it called? Support her in a way where it's like, yes, yeah, she's obviously going to be worried if, in case people are like questioning, it's like, oh, don't, like, why are you worried so much and shit like that. But we also need to consider that, yes, this is like, she really needs to like, you know, be able to step stand up for herself, you know, and then wait, yeah, goodbye, you two seven, yeah, just goodbye. Ooh, it's getting kind of, it's getting kind of complicated. Okay, like we can't just outright 100% support her all the way in what she does in sort of that extreme sense. You know, like she is right no matter what kind of thing. Like we need her to character develop is what I'm saying. So about Zen's recovery. Oh, 
About Zen's recovery speed. Okay, anyways, regardless, we need to answer her text message. And we can also reply, we can also now, like, you know, do this. So don't worry, my leg will be fine soon. Okay, so Lucille seems to uh, think lightly of the situation. Yes, uh, seven that boy, this concerns Zen's precious body. People might have different standards. Uh, seven that boy, this concerns Zen's precious body. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to brush it off. Like, Seven surely should, like, be a little concerned. Praying that Zen gets better soon, yes. Indeed. Oh, I should show him all the fans- all the, How all the fans are reacting. Yes. Yes, Zen's precious body. Even if he recovers fast, he'll have a scar. I should show him how all the fans are reacting, yes. Please don't turn it to a sasang. We don't need that, Jaehee. Like, it's good to be a fan and it's good to be worried about him, but- don't become obsessive. That obsessive. Okay, let's talk to Yusung about it. Did you hear Zen got hurt? Yusung, aren't you going to school? Did you hear how Zen got hurt? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I heard. Uh, OMG. Uh, yes. What do we uh, do? I'm sure he'll be fine. Like, if, but Zen recovers really fast, so I guess you'll be okay? His broken arm healed in one day last time. How do bones mend in a day? Does that even make sense? Lol, I know. That's crazy. Nah, even still, lol. Is that for real? Is that for real? Like, I'm a little surprised. I didn't believe it at first, lol, lol, but I saw it with my own eyes. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I was so curious about the source of that monster recovery rate, and this is what I came up with. What? Zen lived by himself since middle school. Oh, uh, of course he just ran away from home, but <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Uh, but ever since he was young, he didn't have anyone to take care of him, even if he got sick. So maybe that's how he got to recover like a monster? Maybe. I don't know if that's related to his recovery, but that's a bit sad. Lol, I think that's just the way his body works. Yeah, right? That's a bit sad. <laughs> I have to say, it is a bit sad. Oh my gosh. Uh, I've never met his parents, but apparently they wanted him to become a doctor. Of course they did. Uh, he went against parents' expectations to pursue his dreams. Yeah, the, yeah, honest. That's what, yeah, oh. we got that. I'm guessing he recovers so fast because his survival instincts kicked in uh, to make sure his body always heals fast. I, I lived with my parents before I got into university, but when I got a cold, I suffered I suffer for at least a, a what? A week. Uh, you spelled a week wrong. Maybe I get sick easily because of all the medicines I took while growing up. Uh, but even if Zen recovers fast, I think it's a good idea for someone to visit him at the hospital. Right? Exactly. Why is that? Oh, wow. We only got one... one thing? Before, when Zen worked for all kinds of small theater companies, Rika told me that he was really poor and struggled alone to make something out of himself. Oh yeah, that was, that was, that he was so used to doing things by himself without anyone's help, that's what she said. Yeah, but now he's not alone. Just having someone uh, nice taking care of him when he's not well would really help him. Why don't you, or J why don't Jaehee or you, uh, Hanny, why don't, yeah, why don't you or Jaehee, why don't Jaehee or you, Hanny, go visit Z Zen at the hospital? Yes, that's a really weird sentence. Since V never really said he we shouldn't meet Hanny, lol, but if you know where he is, you can go visit him. I think I better, I think it'd be better for Jaehee to go. I'd like to go there myself since Zen is mine. <laughs> oh no. Let Jaehee go, right? Let's just let Jaehee go. Since you, since he never actually met you, uh, he might feel more comfortable to see someone familiar. Anyways, yes. Just having someone nice taking care of him when he's not well would really help him. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure Zen would hate it if I visit him since I'm a guy. <laughs> lol. I think it'd be nice if Jaehee goes since she's more attentive. I guess I'll go. Well, lol. <laughs> lol. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice if Jaehee goes since she's more attentive, right? Uh, I'll go get ready for school now. Okay, don't worry too much about Zen. Goodbye. Have fun at school. Yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, no. Don't. Uh, let's talk later. Have a good day, Hanny. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we got done with that. Um, where are we in terms of the day? Okay, let's go for a couple, maybe two more. So, new project is the next conversation with Jumin and Jaehee. Oh, no. Well, I hope he's Jumin's not stressed and he's gonna do some ridiculous project that's gonna stress Jaehee out more. Okay, so I'm a bit worried about my love, Zen. Did you have lunch? Yes, we need to talk about did you have lunch. Did y'all eat? I had Japanese food during my meeting. I did not eat lunch yet. Oh, no, Jaehee. I'll have something delivered for you. Thank you. Aw. Did you eat lunch, Annie? Yeah, did you eat lunch, Annie? Yeah. I did, actually. Yes, I did, actually. It's the truth. I did eat. 
So yes, good, yes. I'm a bit worried about Zen. Oh, you worried? What? Getting injured because of practicing too hard. How unprofessional. Oh my god. So I was thinking, <laughs> what? That I go visit. Yes, do it. Visit him at the hospital. Uh, I was thinking of visiting Zen at the hospital if we don't hear anything from him by the afternoon. Yes. Uh, isn't your work more important? I think he'll really like it if you go, Jehee. Right, exactly. Go visit him. I feel a bit more brave hearing that. Hearing you say that. Oh, yeah. I would like to. I would like to be generous and let you go, but something's come up. What is it? Oh, you know that our company is preparing to launch a coffee franchise. Yes. My father wants me to deal with it. Oh, okay. And, and what? A another department was responsible for it, but they must have screwed up. Oh, don't you have enough work already? Exactly. Like, hello. Jimin, you busy guy. I do, but my father found out that I visited the cherry farm, so I have no excuses. He got you on a chain. Basically, yes. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> he left the project to me and left on a business trip to Hawaii. Wow, must be nice. <laughs> must be so nice. Uh, if you have enough time to go pick cherries, I will have to give you some of my work. He said that. Oh, true. Uh, I'm sure he's actually going on a trip with his girl with his new girlfriend. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jumin's father is such a player, such a womanizer. Uh, that business trip wouldn't have been on his schedule if he didn't find out I went to the cherry farm. Uh, your schedule is full until next month. I'm worried how you will manage to do all the work. I'm worried too. Please don't dump it on Jehee. The team in charge seems to lack even the basic knowledge of coffee. I have no choice. Oh no, here it comes. Here it comes. I have no choice. It is not something for for an assistant to do, but you will have to take charge. Me? Yes. Oh god. Sounds fun. Good luck, Jehee. Don't you have enough work already? Right? Goodness. She does. Ugh. I'm sure assistant can get pull it off. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know whether, you know, your faith in her is something to be grateful for or not. First, have them create a research report and share it, and make sure they get educated first. Oh wow. I want to look into the distribution of coffee beans, so I'll be busy this afternoon. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if that will be possible as my schedule is almost as full as yours. I know. Oh my god. After the project is done, I will make sure you get rewarded properly. Oh, I guess that's good. I'm so jealous. Haha, <laughs> pay raise. Uh, I'm not sh I'm not- It's not about the reward. Doesn't Jaehee have the right to get some rest while working, right? Exactly. Uh, Hanny, thank you for saying that for me. Exactly. She needs to rest. It is if it is not too impolite, I would like to decline this project. Hmm. Uh, I am still contacting the winery regarding the contract, and I have to prepare for the meeting with the golf clothing company and deal with the personal projects such as your magazine shoot, photo shoot. And there are many more projects that are currently in progress. You are aware, aren't you? Assistant Kang. Oh, yes. Oh shit. With well, this project, just slack off. Slack off? At least he's giving her the option. Like he's giving her permission. Uh, yes, if we intentionally make a mistake, father will be will take it back. Am I allowed to do that? Well, if he says so, yeah. <laughs> just say it. Just say yes. If it's not going to be perfect, it's better to just not do it at all. Oh, come on, Jehee, please. Nonetheless, pretend to work so hard. No, nonetheless, pretend to work hard so that father doesn't find out. Yes. Uh, Jumin, isn't it against the company's policy to work like that? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think so, Hanny? Yes. Come on, Jehee. I personally think a, think a bit differently. Oh, we don't need personal opinions right now. I mean, we. I'm just saying, Jumin was the one who suggested it. Okay, like I would do it if you work, you get happy. So cheer up. But still. you work, you get happy, so cheer up. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. What? Jehee. Jehee, what you gotta be like that for? Like, I know it's wrong. It's probably against policy, company policy, but like... Jumin is second in line. Come on. He's your direct report, manager, boss. So he's like, if he says it's okay, then you should... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, just this one, circumstance-wise, you know? Uh, but still... Yeah, uh, I don't know. Alright, for now. Yeah. Alright, for now. For now, for now. Let's just, yeah, let's just... Alright, and regarding the coffee, I think it was the Roastery Association. I learned about it lately. How about inviting them? How about not? I think it's a good idea. I don't really feel like it. I think it's a good idea. Alright. We're pretending to... 
work hard here, right? I'll get in touch. I'm glad to be of help. It'll be difficult to visit Zen at the hospital, I guess. Uh, if you really are worried about Zen, why don't you have Hanny go visit? Um, should I go? Haha, <laughs> I think it'd be more better- it'd be better for her to go since she's more attentive, right? Indeed. Oh, that's not true. <laughs> oh, come on, Jihee. I'm sure he'll be happy to see anyone. Aw, but then I must go and take care of some things. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. I think I will have a lot of work. Will Zen be okay? Jehi, I think you should focus on work right now. Don't worry too much, you'll be fine. I don't worry too much, you'll be fine. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, thank you for comforting me. I will get going as well. Have a good day. Okay. Wow! Jesus! I never realized just how complicated things can get with Jehi. Because I, I want what's best for her, but at the same time, I don't want to make her upset. And like, I totally get where she's coming from. And it's just, uh, <laughs> Jehi! Otoke! Otoke! Oh my god. Anyways, who's texted? Oh, it's Jehi, yes. Mr. Han has sent me a croissant sandwich for lunch. Aww, that's so cute. It's just a sandwich. He should, uh, he should prepare a feast for you. Enjoy the sandwich and cheer up, Jehi. Oh gosh. I don't know. He should prepare a feast for you. Yes. That jerk, Jimin. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, at least it's something. That's that's the thing. Like, at least it's better than not going than going on without eating at all. New idea. But oh, for what? And I'm pretty sure it's a rotisserie. I thought we had an espresso coffee dude already, but oh, whatever. Where is he? Rotisserie coffee. Yes, this guy. So hello, I'm a manager of the Coffee Ro Roastery Association where we, roast, where we roast coffee beans ourselves. I'm honored to be invited to the party. Uh, the one who told us about it must really like coffee. Her eyes were very bright. So we like to roast some beans for the, pa for the party. What kind of do you think would be best? Iguana. Antigua. Oh no, what is this? I'm gonna fuck this up. Antigua? Uh, it's amazing for you that you roast the beans yourself. Why don't you try a more unique kind like Antigua? I've only heard about it, so I'm eager to find out what that smoky aroma really feels like. Yeah, sounds fancy. So, uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yay, I got it! Okay. Will I get a heart with her? Yes. Oh, tasting all the dishes will take a lot of time then, but can you s But you can spend that much time with the other person you are eating with. I'd like to have a feast if, you if I'm eating with you. <gasps> oh, Jehi. Jehi. God damn it, Jehi. Okay. So let's go. There's a story. Oh. I don't know what happened there. Anyways, there's a story mode. I swear to God, there was. Yes, there it is. Story mode of seven. What is this? What's, what's he up to? What's he got to do with the conversation that followed? Okay. La 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 la, Nyong Cat and the Cat Cat are banana cats. Okay. <laughs> That's cute. 76 emails from hackers chasing hackers. What the fuck? They must love me so much to still be after me. <laughs> ha ha ha. What? Oh, what's this? What? Uh, why is the data here different? Oh yeah, the error sound. Right, 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 right. I forgot. Oh, no way. No, no. A hacker? A uh, hacker t hacked two days ago. Oh. This doesn't make sense. Of course not. I should go tell V. Yes. Okay. There we go. That's a hacker per thing. When this our little like our apartment security system is hacked. Okay, cool. So, uh, where are we in terms of that? 41%? Oh my gosh. No idea. Ah. Should we go for another chat? Let's go for another chat. Yeah. I usually say I would go halfway through conversations, so I think this must be it. So someone must... what? I forgot. Wait, someone must be chasing us. Okay. Alright, whatever you say. Whatever you say, Seven. Hey, S7, I'm thinking about visiting my love. Oh no, just say hey, S7. <laughs> Stop thinking about your love. Hey, hey. I stopped by my house while during work. What? God, I have some news to tell everyone, but it's not good. I should get the good news first, yes. I, Seven the Great, have found an organization for the party. It's an organization called Hackers Chasing Hackers. Ooh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I thought about joining, but there are so many hackers coming after me that I'm just ignoring them. Lol. Though I avoid them objectively, it's a good organization. How about inviting them to the party? Yes, sure. Yeah. I don't feel so good about it, but okay. Yeah, lol. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll get in touch. Okay, I, I'll give the bad news. We've been hacked. I think someone is coming after us. Yes, we know that. Um, 
uh, two days ago, I found traces of a hacker tampering with you, the bracket you, the emergency security system slash you at your apartment. Yes, I know that. Am I in danger by any chance? What? What? Oh my god, I was really surprised too. Yes. Oh my gosh. First, I think it would be safest for you not to leave the apartment. I don't know exactly what he did, but until we find out, I think everyone should look out for their safety. And I'm. It might not just be hacking, but stalking too. Stalking? You don't think Arzen? A stalking? You don't think Jehi? We gotta, we gotta think. We gotta think Jehi. No, it's not like that. Uh, why don't you worry about yourself first? Okay, I went through the security tapes outside the apartment just in case, and found and I found someone that looked like a stalker. Oh, okay. He kept checking when you come in and out of the apartment and talking on the phone. <gasps> oh, that's shady. I'm scared. Why the hell would it target me? Why the hell would it target me? It. <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out, uh, but I may be overreacting a bit. Uh, first, I'm watching his actions to see if he's really a stalker. If it's possible, don't leave the apartment, Hanny. V will probably tighten the security somehow. He might place more security guards or something. Okay? Uh, not just me, everyone should be careful. This is scary, right? Everyone should be careful. I'm sorry for making you worry, but if... Uh, you think a stranger is tailing you, tell us right away, since it is uncertain yet whether he's coming after you, the apartment, or the whole RFA. Or maybe everything. Zen might be in danger. Alright. Okay. I will let you know. We will protect you no matter what. Don't worry too much, I guess. <laughs> uh, we will protect you, Hanny, for sure, but since Zen is at the hospital right now... Oh, should I be, would have been worried about Zen? I hope he gets discharged as fast as he can and stay inside his house. I'm nervous since we can't reach him right now. <gasps> Is this not in regards to the bomb at all? Everyone will be worried about Zen, especially Jaehee. Uh, isn't our Zen getting kidnapped or something? Oh, oh. Okay, everyone will be worried about Zen, especially Jaehee. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but if but it's not the time for you to worry about someone else. You have to be careful too. I think it's top priority to figure out who's behind all this. I should go work fast. From now on, be careful. More careful. And more careful. Please find out who's responsible. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, then I'll go work. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe... No, we had an issue beforehand. Before jumping into the whole bomb situation. Because before, it was... Like Yu Sung's previous route, it was his whole, like, issue with overcoming Rika as trying to project Rika onto us. And then afterwards, it's when we moved into the bomb issue, and that's that. So maybe this is this, right? This is this with Jaehee, or perhaps? Anyway, so the cast is uncomfortable. Oh no, Zen. Poor Zen. And this. Report to me if you notice something strange, of course. Yes. And with you, Sung. Play Lola when anxious. Play Lola when depressed. Play Lola when you're sad. Play Lola all day, every day. Yes. Anyway, so we had a new uh, thing. New thing. New thing. What's it? Uh, he was the hackers for hackers, right? Hackers after hackers? Hackers where? Ah, there he is. Okay, so you don't need to tell us who you are, we already know your name, Hanny. Although that jerk 707 made sure we don't find out anything else. Still, 707 invited us, and we've been chasing him all this time. A prey walks into a tiger's den. Or maybe we are. Hmm, <laughs> we should find out more about 707. Hey Hanny, can you tell us his name? Lucille, Lucky Kim, whispers. Um, I guess we need to bribe them with information, so we should just- What? You know my name, so scared. Uh, yeah. Still, I guess you haven't found out what Lucille's real name is. Ha ah, ha lols. I'll never tell you 707's real name, no matter what you try to do to me. You just did. Anyways, whatever. I gave them what they wanted. Oh no! I wasn't supposed to do that. I can't. <laughs> well, it's true. It's like, come on. Oh, oops. Wah wah. <laughs> I would make a terrible spy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, I just checked as you can see on the outside of the 6 day, it's 50% so I'm gonna stop it here, I think it's a good sp good place because again, we made it halfway through the day and oh my, um, let's just do a couple for now, I don't think I'm gonna get through all, well, oh never mind, yeah no, let's just, it's still, I managed to get a lot of guests, so let's just go through a couple for now and then like maybe the first row, let's just finish up the first row here and then we'll leave it at that. So the Lolo person. So when he's not gaming, he's an innocent lamb. Oh, he promotes uh, uh he promotes sportsmanship despite his aggressive character in Lolo. Oh, and of course Yu Sung's gonna. Lolo 하는 사람 중에 yes. 소수의 이상한 사람 때문에 게임 이미지가 나쁜데 롤로 협회 사람들은 다 착해요. 게임 안에선 야수 같고 게임 밖에선 순한 양이에요. Ah, that's cute. 
I guess. Yeah! Hourglass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyways. And of course, we got this designer lady, the culture. The Culture Citizens Association has fastidious, uh, fastidious requirements for joining, of course. You gotta be bougie as hell and rich. They are interested in handsome corporate heirs, and although they pretend not to, they chase after director Jumin Han. Yes, and of course, Jumin's gonna comment on that. Of course, you need connections, man. Okay. Yay! Of course. Yay. Awesome. It's so cool that you get hourglasses out of all the guests you can get. So it just, you know, motivates you to get as many as you can. Just to reap the benefits. Anyways, I'm going to stop it here, like I said. And we're going to continue on in the next episode. Yes, we got a little bit more on this. This uh, An issue has brewed. Yes, we have talked with Jaehee. And Zen has his whole leg thing happening. Which I guess is like the same thing as when the last time he sprained his ankle. But then now we have this whole issue. Uh, a problem has arisen. And it is in the form of this stalker hacker person that is now putting everybody in danger. And we don't know whether or not it's in relation to Unknown, if it's Unknown himself, or if it's like someone completely different. So anyways, yeah, so tune in next time. We're going to find out more about the situation, get some more updates on that. But for now, bye!